Hey y'all, I just have a couple channel updates for you and I wanted to explain why there is no Fallout 4 Season 2 video uploads the last couple of days. First, uploads are going to change from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. I'm using higher quality capture for game footage and I've matched that for my video rendering and it takes significantly longer to complete a video render than it did before. I, I think the change makes a noticeably better visual quality to the videos, but it takes more than five times as long to render. And the file sizes went from about three gigabytes per video to about 22 gigabytes per video, which in turn makes it much longer to upload. So 4 p.m. is the new 8 a.m. Secondly, oh, where to start? So... I had a Fallout 4 Let's Play video flagged for copyright music. It was episode 26 of season 2. The offending music? Well, obviously, the main title theme music of the game. Wait, what? Yes, the music that plays when you first start the game. The music that plays in the background while you adjust your settings or load up your last saved game. What? That music? Yep, that music. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Since when does Bethesda copyright flag music from their own game? We're not talking about licensed music from the Billboard Top 100. This isn't a pop song you hear on the radio during your drive to work. This is music that you will only ever hear in this game. This is music specifically written for the game. Also, I don't even monetize my videos at this point. I'm not making money off someone else's work. I know for a fact, not a single person that has watched my Fallout 4 gameplay videos decided to not buy Fallout 4 and deprive this person of their theme music money. People of the Commonwealth, <laughs> do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. The copyright flag happened at the 25 minute mark of a 28 minute Fallout 4 gameplay video. If this copyright flag isn't from Bethesda Studios, but is instead from the composer, then all I can say is congrats, man. Do you remember that crazy lady last year? Yes, crazy. And whom I won't mention by name, obviously. You can web search it if you want to know more. She went around copy striking all sorts of content creators who did Let's Play videos of certain games. And yes, her music was in the background of those games. But the content creators weren't maliciously stealing her music. They were playing games that they legally purchased. She had a problem with the game studio itself. So she blatantly abused a flawed system and punished the content creators and not the actual people she had issue with. And now, she can't get any work writing music for games. Gee, I wonder why. That's sarcasm. I know exactly why. It's a public relations nightmare. No game company wants to be associated with a person that will destroy their image in the public realm. I can only hope, as a fellow composer and creator, that you don't follow her lead. I don't understand how someone can knowingly write music for a video game and then copy strike content creators that are simply playing that very game. In my mind, it's equivalent to taking a family photo in front of a movie poster that all of you went to see as a family. And then having that movie studio demand that you take down your photo because their movie poster is showing in the background of your photo. Does that make any sense? No. 
I can understand if someone is using that music and say using it for a montage of people getting kicked in the nuts. It's something completely out of the realm of what the music was intended for. But this is literal gameplay of the game the music was written for. Unfortunately, because of this, a few things are going to have to change on our little channel here, which I personally dislike, but I feel I have no choice in the matter. Number one, Bethesda just lost a loyal customer. The Skyrim special edition footage is now scrap. I had plans for another series called Retro Quick, where we're doing gameplay of older games. So gameplay of Oblivion, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas, plus of course the aforementioned Skyrim, are all scrapped. The Retro Quick series will premiere a little later as a result of this, um, but... Also, because of this, it will launch with a non-Bethesda game instead. Number two. I have canceled my Fallout 76 pre-order. Right now, I'm just upset, so I can't say for complete certainty that I will never play another Bethesda game on the channel, but I don't see the logic in promoting and giving hundreds of hours of free advertisement to a company that will copy strike those very videos. A video that, by the way, I said, quote, I love this game. This game is amazing, end quote. And I've previously stated numerous times how much I love Bethesda games, and I still do. Sadly for me, this also means that gameplay for the following games has now been canceled. Prey, which, sadly, I already bought specifically for a Let's Play series. Doom Eternal. Luckily, I was able to cancel that pre-order as well. Fallout 76, Oblivion on the Retro Quick series, Fallout 3 also on Retro Quick, and I don't think they care much about Fallout New Vegas because it wasn't made by them. It was made by a different studio. Number three, I will never again use a game's own music in the background of its own gameplay video. I mean, my hands are sort of tied here. Music is in a weird, stupid legal state right now. I, I have never used music from one game and then used it in a different game. I mean, I would never do that, and I will never do that with any game music. Um, I, I would only use game music in the gameplay footage for that game. I have so few videos, and I have already had this copy strike happen on three different occasions for music that played in the background of its own game. From now on, I will mute the hell out of their in-game music. It seems to me they don't want people to hear their music, so what can I do? People won't hear it from me. Number four. If I need background music, I will now only use classical music that is public domain, such as Mozart, Beethoven, Chopin, and the like, stuff like that. And I will only use recordings of myself playing, as I did for the outro music used on my videos. It is public domain music, and I performed it myself, so nobody can claim it as their own performance. It's mine, and it's public domain music. I honestly don't know what else I can do. This means that music will be all piano music, and admittedly not necessarily the best in the world, but it also means the performance is my own and not some random orchestra or world famous pianist. So what does this mean for Fallout 4 Season 2? Well, to get away from Bethesda games, I'm going to do an accelerated finish of Fallout 4 Season 2. I will follow the Minuteman faction to the end. Since Season 1 followed the railroad, and we left Preston and the rest inside the Museum of Freedom, I thought we should see their solution to the Institute problem. This means that after the previously recorded videos are released, I'm going to simply make a direct line to the end of the story. We're not going into all the buildings, we're not exploring any more lore, to the end and done. I don't want unfinished gameplay on my channel, so it's either race to the end or delete all existing season two videos. I'd rather not delete the time and effort that I've put into those videos because it's a lot. It 
takes a lot of time to edit each video, especially the more recent videos where I've been diving into the history and lore behind the story of the game. I'm honestly not sure where I'm going next. Dropping all Bethesda games from my schedule is a lot of stuff. It makes me sad because I enjoy Bethesda games so much. By far and away, they make my favorite games. But I simply can't run the risk of them pulling the rug out from under me in this manner. I put so much of myself into these videos, it's honestly soul-crushing when this happens. So... I don't know where the future is right now. All I know for sure is that it's not Bethesda Games or Zenimex or id Software or Machine Games. I mean, anything that comes from Bethesda and associated companies, I can't trust. So, yeah, I'm a little lost right now. I may do additional Fallout 4 creative builds or tutorials, but you bet your bottom dollar it won't have any of their music in it. So that's the state of the channel. Please just give me a couple days to edit out the music from Fallout 4 Season 2, Episode 26. And I need to re-render the episode. Anyway, I hope you're having a better day than me. I'll see you in the next one. Dashpot out.